Give me the shirt version. All right, here it is. About five years ago, this guy Barry comes up to me and says, you're with the DEA, right? I say, yeah, sure. He says, I got a plane. I've been approached by a cartel to run some coke. I want to cooperate with you guys. This is Barry, his wife Karen. She helps him smuggle the coke. Got addicted, totally out of control. Is that your guy? Yeah, that's Barry getting his plane checked out. So, we make some deals. He helps us put away some guys. You know, it's working good. Five years, a lot of big busts. You know, we're tight. Yeah, I get it. So one day, he says he's got a big deal going on, but he needs front money. So I go to my supervisor. I know the punchline. Joey, I beg, I promise, I swear, I get the front money uh, for the deal. How much? Five million. Oh, that's a lot of dough for the DEA. <laughs> Your ass must be on the line. Tell me about it. How much you lose? The whole thing. The whole thing. You lost five million. I can't even get overtime approved. before those trucks are ready to roll. Not long, a couple hours. Gotta ask you something. Sure. What's up? You're tight with Denver. Yeah, sure. You screw on my wife? What? Has Denver been doing my wife? It's pretty crazy to do that, don't you think? I didn't ask you that. Why don't you ask daughter? Because if I do, and she has, she's going to warn him that I'm going to kill him. You, you, you're just going to kill him on the chance that he's been with Darla? Yeah. Sure I would. Because uh, if I don't, what's that say about me? This is our target, Barry, his wife, Karen. Barry clipped five million from a DEA sting, stashed it someplace, Parked his wife in rehab, and now he's selling his house. Put header on it. What else? Find Elena, put her on the wife. She's a dope addict, too, and it's a good fit. Does Paul got something on the methamphetamine thing? Why is it on my desk? Now, this is Sonny Thompson. He's our meth man. He's thinking about putting a hit on his partner, Denver, here. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Denver's screwing his wife with that, so there. Mm, that's messy. All right, set up a meeting with Paul. And get me Darnell. I'll want him there. Paul's been working this methamphetamine thing for, what, two years now? Yeah, that's a long time to be undercover. Say that again. Just need a couple more months, and I have a good case. These guys manufacturing the speed or just moving it? Well, it's a one-stop operation. They got labs, cooks, distribution, setting up a franchise all across the western states. It's booming, man. It's big time. But now we got a little hitch. What's up? So we've been running a wire on these guys. And the other day, we pick up a conversation between our target, Sonny, and this other guy about a hit. Yesterday, Sonny pulls me aside. He says, do I know that this guy, Denver, has been screwing his wife, Darla? By the way, screwing the boss's wife, you should never do that. It's a real career killer. <laughs> so Sonny wants this guy, Denver, whacked. I mean, we got to warn the guy, but we got to do it sideways. He might tell Sonny's wife, and then she knows we're running the wire. Maybe she susses out him undercover. Maybe she tells her husband. We don't know which way her loyalties are gonna lie. Either way, it sucks. Can't sit on our hands and let this guy get killed. See so my dilemma? You got a scenario for me? Yeah, I get something worked out. 
This is the guy Sonny wants to kill. The name is Denver. You need to get Denver to leave town so Sonny can't do that. Okay, got it. I think the best way in is through Denver's girlfriend, Amber. Amber, okay. So what's my cover? Well, white trash. Boyfriend just got out of the can. Okay. Break a leg. How do I look? Trashy enough for you? Yeah, I like it. It kind of turns me on. Yeah. Got you an engagement ring. This is so sudden. I don't know what to say. Bus stops down the street around the corner. Two stops, all right? Go, go. Hey, don't forget the wiggle while you walk. Denver. Who are you? I'm Rita. My boyfriend's Marcel. I don't think Denver would ever mention him, I don't think. What's this about? They were both in jail at Pacino together. I think Denver was in a biker gang. I wouldn't know anything about that. What's this about? It's hot. Do you mind if I come inside and we talk? So about something that happened four years ago up at the yard in Chino? Yeah. Somebody slapped somebody and it all got kind of crazy and started a riot or something. Anyway, Marcel was getting out and some friend of his offered to give him 20 grand to kill your boyfriend. Your boyfriend is going to try and kill my boyfriend. Right. I know. I know. Why am I telling you this, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Marcel doesn't want to do it. But he's got to do it. Okay, otherwise, these guys are going to come after him for not doing it. So I talked to him, and I said, maybe if he can talk to Denver, you know, gave him the 20000 maybe Denver would just be willing to leave town, and it would work out for everybody. You'd pay us 20000 What's the catch? What's in it for you? Nothing. You could use it as a little getaway money, you know? Maybe put a down payment, something like that. I know it's not that much, but it's all Marcel's friends offered to pay. You got a phone? Well, write your number down here, and I'll call you, but you better hurry up out the front, because Denver's home. Okay, well, call me. This is all supposed to happen in the next couple of days. Okay. Hey, baby. Hey, girl. The fridge is broken. Great. <laughs> Elena, how many girls have you got? Now? Elena, who else have you got? Do you have anybody new? Why, you wore this one out already? Come back tomorrow night, I'll have some variety for you. Look, you'll have to clear up some dates. I got a job for you. Hmm. And what rolled up on A junkie going into rehab. Yourself. And why on earth would I do that? So you can keep your green card and stay out of jail. That makes sense. Her husband was cooperating with the DEA. Then he ripped him up for a big chunk of change. You think she knows something about where he's hiding the money? One of my favorite things. Hey, maybe you can tell me. If what you call me a, a confidential informant, if she were to retrieve this money, oh, go there, she would happen. get a percentage, right? No, she wouldn't. Like I said before, what she gets is a chance to stay in the country and out of jail. Though, she would get Don't a break my stones. Just do this thing. Okay, okay. Wish me luck. By the way, look like something a cat hucked up. Thank you. I try. Break a leg. You don't understand me. I'm not sick. I told you. I don't need to be here. My boyfriend you stole my car. And then you'll see a doctor. Get your What's wrong off. with you people? Are you deaf in the ears? Get I told you. I'm not off. sick. Your room, and then you can talk to a doctor. Don't touch me. I'm warning you. Don't touch me. Come on. I'm 
real estate. What do you know about it? Ever buy or sell? Are you kidding? I've never lived anywhere long enough to own a couch. Hi, Marcy. Hi. Our pilot's trying to sell his house, so going in as a real estate agent is going to be quick and easy. So you want me to try and get inside the house, get a read, and see if this guy's leaving the country? Exactly, but play it under the rug. Guy suckered our boy Felix. He's been around UC agents, so don't hit it too hard. You carrying any baggage? Wife, kids, what? No, no kids. Wife's a junkie. He put her in rehab so he could make a quick getaway. If that's an in, take it. So do your thing. So, I get your business cards, a presentation folder, some letterhead, realtor's training manual. Study all that. Got any questions, give me a call. You kidding me? No. Hey, Polly. Yeah. Whatever you need, man. It's so obvious that punk is doing my wife. Polly, Denver's got to die. Soon. you wanted to say. My name is Elena. I'm a prostitute and a drug addict. Why do you think you do drugs? In Russia, I sold my body to come here. I started using drugs to stomach the work. Then, after a while, I met a man who said he loved me. He gave me drugs and money. Then he cut down on both. He said if I didn't get clean, he'd leave me. So I went into rehab. He left me anyway, as soon as I was in the clinic. Did you take care of the FAA problem yet? Well, I'll be needing the plane myself. Yeah. No, I plan to fly solo this time. Right. Beautiful home. Thank you. Yeah, right. He took all his money. Call me when you have some news. All my money. So I went back to drugs. Then another boyfriend we use. He says I use too much. <laughs> Same story, he drops me off here. Only I keep my own money. Karen? Well, I mean, I'm not a whore or anything, but... I mean, I know what she's talking about. A guy who gives you drugs and hates you for using. And that, that's my story, too. Is he eager to sell? Looks like he's packing. You could say he's very motivated. I've got a few very high-end properties if he's looking to move up. I don't think he's buying. I think he's liquidating. No pass. Life is an anxiety attack. Hey, put your head between your knees. <gasps> Could you please leave me alone? I'm trying to help you. I'm not here to make friends. Because you have so many people who care about you. Where are they? The minute someone drops you off here, they're through with you. That's your story, not mine. Oh, no? I'll listen to your boo-hoo-hoo. Sounds like the same story to me. Why do you think he put you here? He wants you to get better? Mm-mm. Too late. He's seen you at your worst now. That's all he's ever gonna see. That's how men are. This one's broken, they're on to the next. Time to learn how to live in your own. Because he's done with you, honey. This is a good advice. For free. So don't call me a whore again. Is he 
talk to your boyfriend? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. What did he say? He said um, he doesn't think the money is enough. He thinks you're holding out. He wants to talk to you. You want to talk to me? Face to face. Mm -hmm. You forget about that. I ain't falling for that. No, no, you, you forget that. Well, I'm going to be there, and she'll be there, too. I ain't putting her into this. OK, honey. I don't mind. I don't know. Whoopi tried to blow us all away. He's not going to do anything. He wouldn't put me in the middle of that, either. We've been trying to get out of this whole drug scene, but they're not just going to let him walk away. You know what it's like, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's it going to take for you to do this, Dan? We want to have children. We want to start a new life. If you could just come up with a little bit more money, he'd probably go for it. There ain't no more money. Barry, let me just get to the point. I know you're not interested in anything local, but I have a few international properties, mostly in the Caribbean. If you'd like to take a look, I'd be happy to arrange that for you. Where are you going? See, I'm not really sure where I'm going to end up, but I want to sell the house as soon as possible, even if it means taking a loss. Get a list of possible buyers. We'll talk in the morning, OK? I have some things to do tonight. Would you like anything to drink? No, I'm fine. Hello? What? No, I'm not at home. My plane? It's being impounded? Can he do that? What's wrong? I gotta go. We'll talk later. Barry looks like he's getting ready to go. His plane's impounded, and he's scrambling to find another one. He's packing boxes, living out of a shaving kit, and looking at remote hideaways in French Guinea. Nice home in the jungle with no extradition treaty. OK, thanks. Anything else you need on this one? Yeah, keep your cell phone on. Yeah, let me call you back. Hey, man, I've been thinking about how to do this. I mean, you don't want to just wipe them out. What's the dog going to say? There's going to be grief. Yeah? And you don't want her thinking you killed her. She's just going to go off. Let's make it look like it's past. Cut up, you know, some other thing. What other thing? Maybe from when Denver was in the joint. Keeps telling me about some problems he's been having with some black guys. That's right, there was some trouble. I set him up. They can take him out. That way. When he ends up gone, it's not like she's gonna look at you for it. Okay, why don't you make some calls? Do it that way. I get back from Arizona when I'm out of here. Dead and buried. Visiting hours will begin shortly. Please have your identification ready for signing. Yeah. He wants to rent a plane for how long? Is he good for the money? I don't care where he wants to fly. Put him on. Yeah, this is Joe. What kind of plane you need? Day or week? Are you carrying cargo or what? Point to point, OK. No, nobody will know where you're going. We'll file a flight plan. Says you're going to Mexico City. We'll file another plan. Says you're going to Costa Rica. From there, Timbuktu, nobody cares. OK, keys will be in the ignition. All tuned up, ready to go. Thank you. You rent airplanes? Sorry, I overheard your conversation. Whatever. You need one? You need one, you give me a call. Excuse me. Yo, what's happening with the blue Cessna? The guy's picking it up at 3 o'clock. Wait a minute. Excuse me. You a pilot? Yeah, Barry. Hey, Joe. If you're ever looking for work, you let me know. I can always use a good pilot. What's happening? Yes. I gotta go. I gotta go see my girl. Here we go. I think I wound her up pretty good. Yeah? What did she give you? She's not here from choice. He had a doctor send her in. She's here for 60 days. 
So if he's leaving, he's got a good head start. Look, time's running out. I know where he keeps the money. How much money is he worth? <laughs> Don't push it. Well, you know, we should talk about my deal. If I'm a confidential informant, I, I'm entitled to a percentage of money retrieved. Yeah, well, you already have a deal. I'm keeping you out of Siberia. Joey, I'm serious. I know things. I know people. I'd like to make some money. We we'll work together. I help you, you help me. I have connections. I know half the Russian mob. Not just here, across the country. Just concentrate on your objective. Work on Karen. Find the money. Okay. Thank you. It's so sweet of you to visit. Do you have any cigarettes? There's a machine. I don't have any money. My boyfriend didn't give me a dime. I have candy. The worst thing was the first time when I was in rehab. My boyfriend was with another girlfriend. Whining and dining, spending all our money. I was stupid, hooked like a fish. You had no idea what was going on? I was going through withdrawal. What was I supposed to know? I think he did it on purpose, put me in the rehab while he was cleaning out the accounts. Well, I don't think there's another woman. Honey. There's always another woman. I make a living at this. I'm a professional other woman. Men don't leave. Even with your money, unless there's somebody to spend it on. Barry's always liked blondes. I need the smoke. I need to get high. You want to come with me? Yeah. This is the chick I was telling you about. Your boyfriend here? Yeah. He wants me to search you first. Amber pats him down, okay? Okay. He's clean. He's good. All right, let's talk about this. Yeah, okay, let's talk. I hear you got some idea how maybe you can make this work. I can get you new IDs, driver's licenses, passports. Anything y'all gonna need, you can go wherever y'all want to go. Okay. Then what? Well, you're supposed to be dead, so that's what we gotta do. Make it look like you're dead. Then how do we go about doing something like that? I got a couple ideas, but you gotta commit before I give them to you. Yeah, I got a couple ideas, too. I was thinking about plastic surgery. Amber, too. You know, so nobody recognizes us. Well, that's a good idea right there. I was thinking about getting a nose job. Maybe my ear's done. Something like that. I had some done. I know a doctor. That stuff's expensive, I know that. No, this guy's cheap. He lost his license for one of them silicon implant things went bad. Mine are still good. Yeah. Marcel gave them to me for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> they look really good. Well, I'm gonna need some more money. I know you get more. I wanna get more for the surgery. Then I'll think about it. Well, one way or the other, I'm gonna take care of this, huh? I got four operators in the field. I need to get their overtime approved. Marcy, yeah, grab that for me, will you? You're at the airfield office. All right. No, 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 no. Yep, right. 
Axis airplane leasing. May I help you? One moment. Let me call you back. Barry. Hello, this is Joe. Remember me? Barry, we met at the rehab center. Oh, yeah, I heard my... How you doing? I need to lease a plane for a trip to Panama. Okay, how long? I was wondering if, uh... I could fly the plane one way and you could have someone else pick it up. Sure, we do that all the time. Good. We'll set up a time and we'll take one up for a test drive. In the meantime, I'll see what I have available for you. Excellent. Take it easy. Got him. With any luck, you might walk that money right into our hands. Call the DEA. Tell him we need to get an office front at the airport. ASAP. You just smuggled for him. Some of the money's yours. But yeah, that was in the beginning. Then he got big and bigger. And if you were there in the beginning, you deserve to be there in the end. When do you start working for him? On our honeymoon, but that didn't last. And when I wouldn't carry for him anymore, he hit me. He broke this rib. He broke hey. these two. Cracked my skull with a bottle. I broke my wrist. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Go home, take a bath. Beg him. Plead him, kiss him up. Because cold turkey is not for me, huh? He paid a lot of money to put you in that place. He's going to drag you back. Yeah, well, I can take care of him because I told him if he lays a finger, I'm going to call the cops. And believe me, he doesn't want the cops in that house. Mm. I can keep him coming, but I'm going to need a credit card to run a tab. No, I will cash up. Does he have any money on you? No. Checks, no credit card, no ATM. I have nothing on your name. Used to when he was trying to hide it from the government, but I got a little drug problem and I'm a little sketchy with the finances. How much money do you have stashed away? Huh. We have money. Lots of it. Cash. Just no money. We have money. Karen, wakey, wakey. He leaves you, you'll be sitting in a bar just like this, making eyes to the fat man in the corner. You have to be independent. You have to take his money while you can. <clears throat> this isn't doing much for me. I'll be back with cash to pay for the drinks. You just keep this in the meantime. Maybe you can get some traveling money. You are good. Look like you lost a pint of blood. What's the matter? Some hitches come up. Sonny expects Denver whack before he gets back in town tonight. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little tricky. <laughs> Playing dead is the only option Denver yeah. has. I'm thinking maybe they're gonna whack me at the same time. Why is that? He's got blood in his eye. Yeah. It's Elena. Where are you? A bar. I'm with Karen. We're leaving. She's got the money. Lots of that cash. I think she's leading me to it. Where are you going? To her house. She thinks her husband got a girlfriend. So anything you can do to help her, you know? I'll push her next mile if you ever want her to testify against him. Okay, the minute you know where the money is, you call me. And don't play me. Have a little faith, Joey. Call me. Paul, here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about Sonny's wife, Darla. Maybe he gets the idea to kill her, too. She's screwing around on him. All of a sudden, we got a bloodbath. Everybody we're building a case against is dead. No, he's not going to go after Darla. She's the accountant. She knows where the money is. I can't have a bunch of citizens getting killed left and right. You got to be on top of this. He's going to be all right. She runs the business. He's not going to get rid of her. OK. Tell Sonny you have proof Denver's been killed. Stall him till you hear from me. Yeah, 
It's me. What's up? Heather, I need you to do a couple of things. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. What's wrong? <laughs> Put the house on the market without telling me. As far as it's in this. See her? Who is she? What does she look like? Young, pretty. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Money hidden everywhere. Okay, hang on. There's more. They're all over the house. These IDs are no good anymore. Why? Denver wants to have plastic surgery so he can change his face. I can't get a county to approve that. I mean, what's this guy want? Liposuction too? I hardly have the bread to pay your overtime. That's what he wants to close the deal. Another ten grand for the surgery. He thinks we're holding out on him. What, so you want to give the girlfriend a makeover, too, so she looks like the one he's banging on the side? Seems to me Denver and his girl are pretty tight. Doesn't strike me as a guy chasing stuff on the side. I don't think Denver's sleeping with Darla. I think they really want to start a new life. All right, let me see if I can get another 10 Gs. Let's get this thing done already. We're running out of time. Somebody's really going to whack this guy. And there goes your meth lab case up in smoke. <laughs> Let's get your John Hancock down here. Tell you what, you want to save a few dollars to slap some wings on there, you got that one. When are you going to need the plane? Uh, a couple days. Depends on the weather. Insurance policy, too. Right. There Thank you go. You. Excuse me. Hello? What? Well, did you send a car by? No, I'm on my way. OK. All right. I got to go. I got to break in. Security problem. Plane will be ready when you need it. Thanks. Yeah. Are really gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy it. Don't worry about that. I got a little bullet hole right behind your ear, then you can climb down in there. I need to make up, honey bunch. Come on over in the light. You need this makeup. Down here? Yeah, right there. Right there. Out here? Yeah, just an entry room's all we need. Shut behind the ear with a 22. 
execution style. Just like my daddy predicted. Stay still, honey, so she can make the whole right. How's that? That's good. All right, now climb down in the grave. Lay down in there, face down. You need to see the bullet move. <clears throat> Am I gonna say a few words? Here lies the man I love. The sweetest man I ever met. All right, Amber. Thank you have to wait a little bit, please. Honey, shovel some dirt on the man, a couple of shovels pull while I get this camera ready. Okay, eyes closed. Look dead. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Let me get one more while you're down there. But you should get one where you're in the picture, too. Oh, oh, yeah, baby, that's good. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got this one. I don't think this is gonna do it. I mean, I want everybody to know that I'm dead. I want the cops to know, just so it's official. I don't know how you're gonna do that. Take my thumb. Say what? Take my thumb. Mail it to the cops. I got my prints on file. Match them, they know I'm dead. Tell me about in the middle of the street somewhere. Whatever. I don't want nobody coming after me when I'm gone. Because when I'm gone, I'm off good. Okay, okay, so how you want to do this? I got an axe in the back of my truck. We'll just do it. One clean whack. All right. You can see why I love him. in about an hour. Yeah, well, I might be a little longer. Good. Just gotta take care of a couple of things. Yes, you do. <laughs> Look, I appreciate all your help, but the thing is, I gotta keep going. Because if he finds me, he'll kill me. But you can stay. Where would I stay? I like this car. I like that I'm driving it, not bend over some guy who is. And I love the desert at night. What about the money? Oh, yeah, yeah. What about the money? How much do you want? Whatever you think is fair. All right. Sonny. Man. I believe you give up his thumb. A made man now, Polly. Yeah. You happy? Things worked out. Sonny's best pal did the right thing. That's right. Saved Denver's life. Yeah. So what now? You gonna keep on screwing Darla? What do you mean? You've been screwing Sonny's wife. It wasn't Denver. It was you, right? Look, I understand. Stuff happens. Spend enough time with someone. Get close. Yeah, you do. She came on to me. I didn't know what to do. She came on to you. Yeah. 
Sonny's out of town all the time. She's getting lonely. Tell me all about the business. So it's easy to justify jumping in the sack? All that good pillow talk you build in a case? Yeah. You know what worries me, though? Sir. Yeah. I worry you might have let Sonny kill him. Then you could go on screwing her. Joe, I came forward. I'm not in love with this chick. She's into me. It's not the other way around. I can walk away from her anytime I want. Wrap the case up. Then a deep breath. I'm coming off the street for a while. So, where is she? She got stopped in your car heading out of town with a convicted heroin addict. The money was in the trunk. Take a wild guess where she is. Going downtown. Tell your ass. Man, huh. get it. You don't trust me. You had to stick some policeman with little hands on me. Yeah, right, like you were gonna call me. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> when we ran out of gas, I picked up a new cell phone. Or maybe tomorrow, when I came down on my head clip. <laughs> Next time I wanna be paid for my trouble. I want a nice percentage. Just be glad you're still in the country. I am, Joe. I'm glad. I love it.